Hi and welcome to the channel. Um, we're going to make something a bit different this time. We're going to make a straight razor. This happens to be a Dovo one made in Germany. And the biggest challenge is not really going to be the shaping or even the scales, but the profile of making it sharp. Because that is only 0.15 of a mil or 8 thou. I think that's how you Americans would say that. Double zero eight, eight thousandths of an inch. Even smaller than that, actually. Um, because what we have is. 0.18, actually 6 thou. So a 6 thou grind in order to make it sharp enough, which is, yeah, 12. There we go. I've cut out the shape just here. So hopefully we can see that. And now what I'm gonna use to get that curve in here is this, and I'll show you something pretty nifty. Um, here we go. I'm going to use this wheel here so that that will go on there like that. I'll just hold him across and we'll get this diameter in here. Okay, I've got a little magnet on here just to help me grind and to keep myself stable just here. But we're getting there, we're starting to get little scoopy profile. I've got a line marked up here, which is about six mil from the edge, which I don't want to go past. So I'm just taking it really easy, but it, it is a bit awkward, just trying to keep that in the same spot. But slowly but surely we'll get there. There's no rush, is there? Why would you rush? Well, here we go. I've just been grinding away. And we're getting there. Not a bad profile. Little bit here. And then let's just turn that round. Yeah, we're getting there. Hey, time for a bit of sanding. So let's put some of a good old Windex on there. The camera's in the way. So, but basically wrap that round and we're going to get it nice and flat. And we'll probably go up to 800 and we'll do 320, um, 600 and then 800 and see how we are with the 800. All right, I'll keep going and I'll show you again at 800. 1500, whoops, 1500 paper. Just giving it a nice clean. I won't go any higher because it's going to all have to be heat treated. But I'll be heat treating it in uh, aluminium plates wrapped in stainless foil. Putting it in the oven. But it's coming along pretty good. Hey, not bad. the um, stainless steel foil which okay we've now just um, folded everything up and just bent it all over gone over double with the hammer so we've got a nice little double sealed envelope thoroughly cleaned on the inside with isopropyl alcohol and now ready to go into the oven in this little knife block that I made just out of a chunk of steel that just sits neatly in there and away you go. This is um this is um aluminium plates. So just two pieces of 10 mil aluminium which I bolted together to form a plate. So we'll put the blade in there then we'll put this on top. The press can come down just put a little bit of pressure on and this is called a plate cool, an air plate cool, because in this gap, just here, is where I'm gonna blow compressed air. And we're gonna keep that going to cool it off, and these aluminium plates will act as a heat, heat sink. Now it's expensive to buy, but I got these as offcuts, 
in 10 mil but like I said screw them together and then just cut off the screws and sand it down so you wouldn't even know so that's a 20 mil thick piece of aluminium so we shouldn't have any buckles okay the oven is getting up to uh, a good temperature now it's just under 830 degrees we want an 860 and we've got to just normalize so just for a few minutes we'll leave the envelope in there and then ramp the oven up to 1060 and then we've got to hold that there at 1060 for 15 minutes so that's the heat treatment for the AEBL steel from Alpha Knife Supply. So I've decided to go with the standard way, which they recommend, which ends up with a 60, 61, 62, even up to 63 Rockwell hardness. Now, being as though it's a razor, it wants to be hard, eh? You want it to be, ooh, yes. So getting ready to go and whack that in here. Okay, we've got a piece of metal and it's gonna go into the kiln. So let's, without any further ado, get him in there. Whoa, isn't that hot? You say tense, you say, you know, 1500 degrees, and it sounds like, oh yeah, but that's, that's hot. So now what we'll do is we'll ramp the oven up to 1080. It'll hold for 15 and then that'll be the end of its cycle and we should have a nice hard envelope. Yay! It's like a lucky surprise in here. Oh yes, that does look good. Yeah. Well, here we are, out of the tempering oven nice black coating on it from that tempering process which I'm going to uh, utilize actually but for now we're going to clean this up and get some shine back into the razor section and also along here let's clean that up and make that shine nicely okay I've cheated a bit <laughs> some more um, sanding but here we go that is 3000 wet and dry and the um, the inside here looks really nice dark I'm really pleased with this because it's kept the tempering blackness in the low bits and I've just highlighted the top bits to give a bit of a shine so yeah that's coming along very nicely. This blade is nearly there. Yeah, looking really good. It's coming up very nice. Yeah, really pleased with how this is turning out.